All right, Doomers, it's May 28th. Let's get a little one-on-one -on -one time together. I feel like we haven't caught up in a spell. It's May 28th. I'm on a strict diet of almond milk and whole grain bread tonight. And to get to the chase, uh, announcements out the way. I really appreciate everyone's contributions lately in the comments section. I don't get to go back through and review them, but let me tell you this shit that I read there. Uh, I could give Tony awards too, okay? Like really insightful, well-written, well descriptive um, things. It just, it just makes me feel so, yeah special what can i say like i'm the only doomer in the world and you guys bring it forward you just synthesize it all and say it back to me what i'm trying to say and it's like wow people out there understand because in day-to-day -day life it is so incredibly frustrating that you can't talk to anybody you know anywhere forget the post office gym it doesn't matter we're so disconnected but yeah, thank you. Thank you for that, for the comments section. I can just go back through. I should make a whole video. There's like a month's worth of great comments. And then I do have plans to release another video, uh, a montage of clips, if you will. I do this every so often. I put some ambient music over, uh, you know, footage of Doom Apocalypse stuff. And, and then just, you know, add text make it more appealing to get the message across that uh, we've missed our window of opportunity. That's what I've arrived to after years of being on this subject uh, and having a, a lot you along the way, you know, with me this whole journey into a place of acceptance yeah that's what it is um so i have that takes energy and i have to muster up the uh the willpower to do that it's kind of a creative spark you know if you do anything you get the sometimes you get the vibe we're doom vibing tonight like you know sometimes it comes sometimes it doesn't anyways so i appreciate all your support you know if you want to see more of me in 2023 then of course hit the donation link because uh Times are tough. Most millennials are living at home. Uh, personally, I'm getting over my plantar fasciitis, finally. Finally, getting back in my uh, athleticism. But I do have a little bit of heel pain. And I'm working through that. And today I saw, uh, you know, my, my uh, interest in the opposite sex is still biological and... Uh, a parent, I saw a young gal today, I don't know, maybe in her late teens, drive, riding a motorcycle bicycle, it, like a gas-powered bicycle today, and I, and she was, I mean, way young, and I thought, what, that girl is badass, she needs to be my girlfriend in like 10 years in the collapse, and she can watch me clean my AR, you know, watch daddy clean the AR, no, that's creepy. We're not having a post cut. No, it isn't creepy. We're not. The creepy part is that we're not. We're not gonna have a post apocalypse. We're not gonna have a post collapse world. Okay. I mean, you're just a soft little worm. Yes or no? You're a soft little worm that's gonna be decimated like the rest. Just be real. Hmm. I think I need to get into someone's like RV or go mobile. Uh, yeah, so, okay, not trying to get off topic here. Uh, yeah, you guys' comments, contributions to this channel, and, uh, just the stuff going on out in the world. I mean, this past week, I feel like I could do a whole nother video on just this week of climate events, extreme weather events, especially on the 25th. And the 27th, yeah, climate and economy, I recommend going back through those dates is uh, really just like, oh, okay, 
we're flashing all kinds of bad signals right now. I mean, you just look at the the methane and the ocean heat content. Everything's skyrocketing off the, and the the peat moss burning. You know, all this shit's like is crazy, dude. And the the willful ignorance that we still we still exhibit. Just I mean, just observing people day to day, multiple kids, you know, oblivious, just. But I don't want to get hung up on that. Look, there's no way to tell how you're going out. It's not going to be a grand party. Uh, I met this woman recently, told me, like, you know, people even delusional think uh, it's going to be like the Titanic and those uh, orchestra players, you know. It was flooding and they're still playing their concerto or whatever. Right. It's not going to be a party. Are you listening? Do not watch. All you English mates over there. Uh, El Nino is coming, and it, I, we're going to blow past 1.5 in the next few years. And, um, I mean, even James Hansen's conservative paper, uh, you can look at it, it's open access, puts us like 2.5 in the pipeline. It's like not even worth it. We're going to shoot, we're going to launch, start launching new, yes or no. We're going to start, climate change is going to push us into conflict with each other across the world. Yes or no, yes, yes, come on. See, that's the full picture people understand. They think that we're still going to like maintain some kind of world order when our food supply and fresh water supply, electricity Okay, now paint that picture. Let me. I'm gonna doom apocalypse. I'm gonna doom prophesize for a second. He who speaks, I am the one who speaks. Uh, all those people dying in okay heat stroke in Nevada. The power goes down. Eight hundred thousand people without power. They all end up in the hospital from heat stroke. Thirteen thousand die. Now imagine if there's another pandemic going on and there's no food on the shelves and water bottle plastic supply is you know low. Okay, come on. Just like branch out your mind a little bit. I still have some stragglers on my channel that hold on to this hopium. All right. Okay. Well, I'm getting this in. I'm working up this video. Uh, thank you all. My audience just... I got what I wanted out of this channel. Uh, I can put anything out and get 30 plus, you know, comments from uh, whom I deem to be highly, uh, use critical thinking people, you know, exercise that skill. People who don't, I just don't mesh. I don't vibe. It's like talking to a child. Honestly, you go in circles sometimes. I get it. Like, dumb people like to be around dumb people all the time. And so, yeah, maybe I isolate myself from my intellectual high tower with this doomer shit, but it's like, no, I'm just ahead of the, I'm just ahead of the curve, and, and there is no surviving. All right, how many more peer-reviewed papers do we need to read, you know? Paul could just stop right now, right? Any of them. I don't want to relive trauma too all the time. Like, r like read these climate reports, like, and events. I guess I I need the community, the imp the empathy. You know. Cause, yeah. This isn't fairy tale, and I reject the system, so I don't want to work in it. I think romanticism in our culture is pure hokum. And inevitable, inevitably, de you know, decays. Yeah, right. And like, it takes a very special person, very special personality characteristics to cohabitate with someone intimately for a long period of time. You both have to have, like, very high, you know, receptivity to conflict management and, like, 
be super basically it means like being passive and super chill all the time or you can make a fight a scene and make a fool out of you and everyone around you but that generally doesn't tend to happen it's crazy it's crazy most other cultures and like have had multiple like wives and stuff but they 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 also committed was like like I, I just read about Inca culture. I've been learning about all kinds of cultures about Bruce Lee too. Shit, I didn't know about Bruce Lee. Like he smoked weed and uh, drank a little bit some time to time. But anyways, um, yeah, bondage, whatever you want to call it, in different cultures, it's like I don't know. It's kind of insanity. It's, if you ask me, and women nowadays, they're so. They've been granted unlimited freedom. They can do and say like whatever they want. And, and in that, in turn, most of them just can be a little uncontrollable, honestly, and go off the rails too often. They're not kept in line by anything. In fact, they're encouraged to go off the line and say and demand whatever they want. And it just is like, it's almost masculine. It's like you're dating a a dude with an ego or something, but in a chick's body. That's at least young women too, especially in their twenties. I think about how many young women like in their twenties were like, no, I don't want to see, I don't want to hang out. Cause they got like bombarded by like dudes all the time. I'm going to rant. Okay. I'm ranting. They just get like texted all the time by dudes. And then I finally come along like, Hey, I'm actually a decent dude. And like, I want to like be a part of your life or whatever. And they're like, uh, and giving me like the cold shoulder and hard to get. And I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. Why are we playing this whole stupid game? I just got so tired of it. That and just people's bullshit. Because I would always put myself out and like initiate parties and like do everything. I, I'm always a dude that was like doing everything. And something flipped in my 30s or I'm just like more like inwards. I'm like not narcissistic. I still want to contribute clearly in a different way. But I just got tired of being a party hoster and everything with chicks i don't know it's always a game it's a fucking game somebody's out to get something from somebody <laughs> all right you made it this far it's a real talk one-on-one -on -one. thank you i've arrived at the place where i feel like i'm in harmony with my sync with my uh subscribers it took a and it, and it wasn't it wasn't a walk in the park it was like walking on landmines starting this channel in the beginning i'm very i was i knew this would happen i would get all kinds of crazy psycho fuck you know degenerates on my channel saying all kinds of shit and i'm like no gotta filter 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 you know it gets so much that most people just you know turn off their comments but now I'm at a place where, like, I filtered the great filter has, occur has occurred on my channel, just like in real life. Or you're not gonna make it through. You hear that? Checkmate. Okay. I'm gonna get out in the wild, explore some new hobbies. I'll make this video. Thank you for all your support. If you want to see more of me in 2023, click that donation link below. Over and out, Doomers. I'll talk to you soon.